My grandma used to make bread in the kitchen. Baking as I worked on my math, addition, multiplication, division, the radio humming soft tunes, volume so low you could barely listen. I would chew the end of my pencil, listening as she banged around, looking for the proper utensils, mumbling about how Opa never put things away right. That man would lose his head if it wasn't screwed on tight. My grandma used to make bread in the evening, putting it in the oven and leaving to go sit in the living room, yelling about time and golden brownness as she closed her eyes for just a second. And I'd wait until she was awake to whisper in her ear, Grandma, I don't know how to bake. So my grandma taught me how to make bread in the summer, smiling as she'd watch me stutter through recipes that would read, how to make focaccia. Step one, make focaccia. Step two, eat. I'd get no help from her, only laughter. My grandma used to sew in the kitchen. Glasses pushed up to her forehead as she reattached buttons, holding the pins between her teeth as she patched the seat of my pants. Holding the thread so close to her face it would wiggle with every exhale, she yelled fairy tales across the table, stabbing the fabric with her needle. My grandma used to sew in the evening, putting emphasis on the details. They were important. The details were important. They held the character of your craft, and she laughed as she sewed two slightly different buttons, buttons onto my shirt. It never hurt to insert some uniqueness. My grandma used to paint in the kitchen. Spreading newspaper over the table as she laid out her acrylic and oils, painting the prairie soil and cascading waters. I would sit next to her with my construction paper, finger painting alongside her, creating muddled smudges of inner imagination. My grandma used to paint in the evening, recreating flowers she saw during the day, adding realistic colors to her page as she mulled over every petal, every leaf and thorn, not wanting to misinform the viewer of true beauty. I would try to copy the stroke of her hand as we added highlights to the stem. So my grandma started having paint night in the summer. Every Saturday, me, her, and my mother would get together to paint pictures of our choosing, following along to Bob Ross on the TV and just enjoying our happy little trees together. We took three hours to paint one Saturday, just relishing in the feelings of home as we painted like time had stopped moving just for us. And I realized, my grandma is home. She is the scent of fresh baked bread and fresh paint. She is the artwork lining the hallway walls, the warm and soft feelings of home. My grandma is home, and I love her.